lived out, there are uh, hard times, and it's it's painful. It's it's difficult because we believe that every program adds and contributes to the development and the education of the whole child because mm -hmm. they're the ones that we're all focused on and what we we do. What we are asked, well, I uh, you know I opened the program by saying that we have a great workforce. Um, our <coughs> particular profession is very um, is very people intense. It's very focused on teachers that deliver instruction. And so first we want our teachers to continue focus because they're our greatest as our greatest asset are our employees. You, you get up in the morning, you're gonna go down street A, there's a detour, you just take a right and you go around it. And that's exactly what it is. We got a detour here. Not a little one, but we have a detour and we need to go around it. So because things will change, you know, between today and tomorrow, because as we speak, we're still continuing to add more. Okay. Hi. Thank you for waiting. What is the $800,000? Who is that from exactly? Athletics. Like you. Uh, the the athletics we the come around. Come around. oh yeah okay. um how serious do you see this I see it as a major I see this as something that uh, is definitely um, it has ramifications throughout the whole system for quite a while I you know I, I realize that uh, no budget cut is always the easiest thing to do. It's something that we've got to do because it is a reality of our current situation. We're also looking at is this opportunity for us to uh, streamline, to take a look at what we can do, what we ought to be doing. And by asking for input from the community, it also gives us so many more ways of looking at what we're doing as well as more important, give, guiding us in directions where we could you know, take a look at what we ought to be funding. And could you outline again for us as you did in your show, Exactly, like if I'm a parent and have a child in school, what's going to happen to my child and a child? What will happen to any child in a public school during this? What will it mean? Well, I can't say right now, primarily because that was the whole purpose of today's show. So what we're asking is for our parents, for our teachers, for the community, all our stakeholders to go to our website and look at the budget documents that we've got posted there. There are three. Okay. What, but you did say in the show, you said things possible, things that could, and I wonder if you could say those again for us. You were talking Poss about you, Miley at Aloha School. Oh, Miley yeah. Jones at Aloha School. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what that impact may be, it may be, and let me repeat, it may be that there may not be a tutor for them, for that child. Uh, maybe some of the supplies and equipment that the teacher normally would be able to provide may not be there. Uh, it also means that maybe it will take some time for some of the uh, instructional materials to come out and those kinds of the workshops will be less. They already are. We've cut many of our workshops. So all those different pieces will come together. It, it really comes down to which programs are we looking at and study and then come up with recommendation. What about laying off employees? Uh, we're not there. Uh, our employees, you know, are the most valued people. I mean, we're, our, we are people intense in what we do. So we're looking, uh, the, there's no, uh, we're looking at, I'm, I'm trying to explain it so that it's simple. <laughs> and there's a reduction in our budget. Many of the programs have positions. So the positions may not get funded. However, the function that goes with the program will probably still be there in the mitigating plan. Um, our goal is to ensure that we work with our employees and um, to the extent that we're able to, it is about our employees and how do we continue to have them help us serve our students. But some will be laid off, right? It I mean, may get there, hmm. it may get there. It, it's just, it, I believe it's a little too early to say, and I don't want above all to create any kind of panic. Today really was about getting input from the public, yeah. Superintendent, yes. um, uh, first off, thank you for being so approachable and, and transparent. Um, in regards to your recent audit that found $66 million in workman comps claims did not have sufficient evidence, has that been something that you could take a look at and maybe find out and do some more investigative work, and could that be some cost savings? Yes. And you will do so? We, uh, I, 
don't know how aware you are of the uh, audit committee that the board has, but we are required for every audit to present, and after we do our presentation, our corrective action plan, and then report back on our corrective action plan. So the board is very um, serious, if that's the right word, but they are also very clear about the accountability piece for the Department of Education. And I don't at any cost want to compromise the quality of the education and that connection between our uh, you know, our teachers and our students. Uh, so as we take a look at it, uh, my plea, my request to all our teachers is that the, you know, we may have to suck it up, we may have to tighten our belts, but the delivery and what you do for that student, I want of the highest quality because our kids, our students deserve the very best. Right, so we may, you know, lose some of the supports, which we will, We'll lose some of that instructional material, which we will, the workshops, but that should not deter us from our main focus, which is quality education for all our students. That's it. Are you saying you think you're, you hope they don't want a pay raise? No, I'm not saying that. I think everybody deserves a pay raise. So that you hope they won't? I believe in them. I really do. I, I, but they don't think we should have been trying to I don't know what's going to happen there. I, I leave that to the people who have the authority and the ability to do that. Uh, my primary and my focus is to ensure that we continue to deliver that quality of education and we focus on what's going on in the classroom. Then one thing I forgot to ask you, you said it may have to go on for a while. How long are you thinking? Like four years? Or well, I, I, it's three years. I don't know because, you know, Twelve days ago, we yeah. weren't planning on this kind so of a budget cut, so we're going to be flexible and roll with it.